So I've now developed POTS from COVID. If you want to know what that is, make sure you keep watching. Hello, welcome to my channel. It's been about a month since I had COVID. By the way, I have a dog, so if you're a dog mom, if you know, you know why there's blankets on my couch. She sheds a lot. Um, it's been a, bun a month since I had COVID and uh, I was fully vaccinated. I had my three vaccines. I had COVID in December, but disclaimer, I am immunosuppressed. I take immunosuppressant medication for my Sjogren's. Um, believe it or not, this time around, it hit me harder. Um, it was a lot harder on my body. Uh, that being said, I've now developed long COVID. I've developed something called postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. It's something that many times will get misdiagnosed as anxiety in patients. And um, what's happening is if I'm sitting down, my heart rate will normally be around, okay, so before COVID, my resting heart rate was like 50 or 60 before COVID. After COVID, my resting heart rate is now like 90s, sitting down, laying down. Some days are better than others. Today's a really bad day. You'll see, it, it's inverted, but you can see that it's 91 is my heart rate and 98 is my oxygen saturation for my oxygen saturation. Okay, so that's resting. When I stand up, now today I said it's a bad day. When I stand up, my heart rate will shoot to like 110s, 120s, just from me walking normally. So um, I get, I'm getting dizzy, I'm getting lightheaded. Um, I don't really wanna move around too much because of the negative symptoms that I'm experiencing. Uh, I am trying to exercise. I'm trying my best to still live my life, um, but it's definitely affecting me. Um, so, uh, frankly, I don't have a lot of energy right now. Um, I don't have a lot, of, a lot of energy. I've thought about like just stopping making videos. Um, <coughs> I've thought about just not making videos for a while anymore. I'm kind of torn because I'm so motivated and like ambitious, but. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just going through a lot right now. And um, frankly, I don't have the energy to make educational videos anymore. You may have noticed a name change. Um, part of it was because with my ADHD, I'm all over the place and I want to make videos like vlogs and that. And when I first started my channel, I had called it Nursing with Professor B because it was primarily going to be an educational channel. But as I've evolved after these 3.5 years i like to do topics that are not just for nursing students but for everybody um but that being said i may need to do vlogs for a little bit because um i feel like i just have enough energy to maybe record a quick update on my health um other than that like I, you know like i just don't have I just don't have the energy right now to make educational content. So anyways, uh, just pray for me. Pray for me. Pray that I get better, that this goes away. POTS can come and go. It can go into remission. It can go away with time. I was in the hospital like <coughs> I was in the hospital a month ago because I think that was what was the beginning of COVID and I didn't know it was COVID and um, I was having like that shortness of breath. My heart rate was shooting up. Um, I just felt I was having paresthesia throughout my whole body. And I think that was like the prodromal phase of COVID where I didn't know I had it. Um, so when I went to the hospital, they did prescribe me propranolol because my heart rate was just all over the place. Um, so, I've been trying not to take it just because um, it makes me very lightheaded also, but um, if the symptoms don't get better, I'm definitely going to have to follow up and see a specialist. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you turn on that notification bell. Bye.